Hey everybody, my name is Anthony DaCosta. We're here at the Collings Guitars Factory in Austin, Texas, and I'm very excited to be talking to you today about one of my favorite guitar models of all time, the Collings i35. Here on my left, your right, is my personal i35. This is the original design of the guitar, which features a solid maple top and mahogany back and sides. On my right, your left, we've got the Collings i35 LC. There's actually an aged version of the LC, which we'll talk about in a bit. Uh, but the Collings i35 LC uh, features an entirely laminate maple body. We're going to be doing a comparison of these two guitars today, see what they have to offer, see what makes them different, uh, see where they might have some common ground, and eventually figure out that you probably need both of them in your arsenal. I know that I do. We've got these guitars outfitted with the same pickups, throwback PG-102s, which are a personal favorite of mine. We're going to be playing through the same amp, same rig, uh, and we can see what sounds uh, both of these guitars have to offer. So let's take them for a spin, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Let's go to this middle position here. Uh, Going to be allowing for some of that bridge pickup to creep in. Now let's introduce some of this bridge pickup on its own, and again, you're going to be loving the bite that you can get out of this pickup. With the tone all the way up. We start to roll off that tone and uh, get some other options out of it. Let's hear how these pickups in this top react with a little bit more drive. I think it's time we explore the i35 LC a bit. And one of the key differences in this guitar is the center block. And the guys here at Collings have told me that the center block makes one of the biggest differences you could ever imagine with these guitars. In my i35, the solid top version, uh, we've got a maple center block. The thing about the center block in this guitar is that it is sort of a layered, sort of like a sandwich uh, vibe going on in there, where you've got spruce, maple, and spruce. And those soft layers are going to be doing a certain type of filtering um, that just allows for a different tonality with the guitar. Let's see what uh, the i35 LC can do.
So I hope you've been enjoying our comparison video between the i35 and the i35LC. Again, some of the striking differences between these two very wonderful guitars. Uh, having this solid maple top is going to be giving you a little bit more of that natural acoustic information uh, out of the guitar as opposed to the laminate maple body of the LC, um, which is going to provide for uh, a bit more um, mid-range punch and a little bit more darkness and edge when you want it. Um, this guitar does have more of a focused attack, a little bit more top end, um, and again, part of that is also due to that maple center block as opposed to the one in the LC, which has those spruce layers on top and below it sort of sandwiching the maple, and uh, those spruce layers are going to provide a bit more of a sort of a smooth bandwidth uh, for the guitar. Um, PG-102s, they're a favorite of mine. You can't really go wrong with anything from Throwback. Also got a lot of lovely choices from Lawler, like the uh, Low Wound Imperials, for instance. But yeah, in terms of these PG-102s, which we've got on both of the guitars, I think they, mo they make both of the guitars sing in a really lovely way. Uh, I love my i35 solid top. I might have to get an LC after doing this demo video. Uh, again, I hope you've enjoyed yourself watching, and thank you so much. Please go to Collings Guitars for more info, collingsguitars.com. That could be the website. I'm not totally sure. Collingsguitars.com? Yeah, collingsguitars.com. Can't go wrong. Uh, my name is Anthony DaCosta. Thank you to Collings. Thank you for watching. <laughs>